Before jumping into today's video, I quickly wanted to let you guys know that we are having a 20% off sale over on LoanFox.com for Labor Day. So it's actually going to be today, Monday, and even Tuesday. So if you'd like to take advantage of 20% off, it's one of our biggest sales. It's actually the same sale as Black Friday. So you get Black Friday pricing essentially. Tap the link at the top. I've been restocking a bunch of sold out items for this sale as well. So if there's something that you had your eye on, it could be back in stock. And I also added a bunch of new vintage and antique art all 20% off. Hello, we are outside, which is kind of fun. It feels odd to actually be filming outside because I don't think I've, I actually, I've done one outdoor makeover. And also if you hear a fountain, I tried turning off the fountain for the past 45 minutes. I still don't really know how to work everything in this house. I've been living here for a solid year and I don't know how to work the fountain still. So I'm still trying to figure her out. She's leaking at the moment, so. Hopefully I figure that out. But something you might be able to notice is my house used to be blue. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that my house was painted recently, which I am very excited about because the blue, it was a beautiful color. It was fun on this Spanish home, but it just was not right on this Spanish home, if that makes sense. Make sure you are following over on Instagram if you are not, because I shared the entire process of painting over there because it was a long process. And honestly, I just didn't feel like I wanted to create an entire video of showing the house being painted. It also happened for a month of time and I was working on so many other projects at the time, filming other videos for you guys and they were working early hours and it was just kind of hard to coordinate everything. So I was getting glimpses on my phone as I was going and ended up creating a reel out of it, which I shared over on Instagram. But my house is painted and I'm very, very excited to share it here on my channel. I also wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to super like highlight here on the channel just because it's the front of my home, you know? I'm not showing the actual front of it. I'm showing the courtyard, which is kind of more internal inside of the house. Now, I definitely want to go in depth a little bit about the house painting process because I do have some additional footage to share with you, but I have been dying to make over this courtyard. Ever since I bought this house a year ago and saw it with all the plants, I'm gonna pop up a photo of what the previous owner's courtyard looked like. He had so many plants in it, and I actually thought when I bought the house they were gonna come with it, and then they were all gone when I moved here, like, or got here the first day, and I was like, ah. Where are they? Besides the point, I knew I had to hire out for this project. It was not something I could undertake myself. I was not about to paint this entire home. And also the windows were vinyl. I guess there's not a lot of research or backing on painting vinyl. So we did a bunch of research and my painter PO, who did such an incredible job, him and his team did an absolutely amazing job on this home. They worked on it for about three and a half weeks straight. And they started off with the windows. So they actually removed every single window and there are 82 windows on this home. And I know that is an insane amount because it is a duplex. It is a very large duplex that I converted into a single family home. So there are 82 windows on this house and they took off every single window, sprayed every window, like the actual jam of the window, the window itself, all of the components with a primer. And then they sprayed on top of it the color. And the color that I selected for the window trim was Olive Tate by Benjamin Moore. And all of the colors that I selected for this were from Benjamin Moore. And honestly, the stucco color, I could not be more happy with, but I'm, I'm kind of jumping a little bit because I just love how beautiful of a creamy white this color turned out to be. And I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys, which I know will probably get me some not so kind comments because sometimes that happens, but you know what? I can delete them, so gotcha. Painting a home is expensive. And also when they have to take off all of your windows, that is also expensive. So I actually got quoted first from my painter. He didn't know I wanted to take off the windows. He thought I just wanted to paint all the stucco, all of the ironwork, all of the under eaves, like everything from the house except for the windows. He was gonna paint the little bottom sill, like the bottom little uh, trim piece of the window because that was wood, but he wasn't planning on painting the vinyl trim part. And I was quoted $13,500 to paint this. And I got multiple quotes and my painter that I had always used was definitely the cheapest out of all the quotes that I had got. I had quotes up to $21,000 just to paint the stucco, the iron, everything. And I also wanna mention that when I purchased this home, I got this house for 
far, far under asking because I knew one of the things I wanted to do was paint it and I knew that was going to be an expensive undertaking. So at the time, I kind of found out how much approximately I was going to need to paint the house back because they had just painted it um, prior to me purchasing it. I bought it in July and they painted it blue in February. So it's just freshly painted blue. It was not blue for about the 90 years it existed before. It was actually kind of a neutral tone like this. So I wanted to change it back to something that felt a little more authentic. I have to say right now, the architecture pops so much more in the new color. It is unreal. You notice the chimney, you notice all of the arches, everything just stands out so much more. Even the tile in the courtyard, like all the little details really are highlighted because the backdrop's a little bit more neutral, whereas the blue was such a high impact color. It really was um, something that also affected the interior, which was a huge reason why I painted this home. It bounced so much blue light off of the white house behind me. You guys can kind of see it through here and into the windows. It was always blue light shining inside, which was just not the color palette I'm going for. As a lot of you know, I love working with warm tones. So having blue light bouncing everywhere was just not right, especially in the courtyard. So much light bounced through all the courtyard windows as well, which were all the main living areas, the kitchen. It had so much blue light, so I knew that I wanted to change the color, make it a bit more neutral, both for an exterior standpoint and like curb appeal, but also an interior design choice. So I actually ended up swatching a bunch of different whites. I think I did six or seven different white swatches, even more than are on this little clip here. The color will be right here. It is Soft Chamois. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it is such a beautiful shade of off-white. For that really kind of creamy European looking white shade, this is it. Like it is so beautiful. It really reads perfect at every time of day as well. And the last color I chose was Tarpley Brown. And everything got painted brown. That was like the iron gates, all of the woodwork. So all the balconies were painted. I actually do want to go back and paint the little wood pieces of the under eaves to be the Tarpley Brown because I think it's just a little too much white. So I want your guys' opinion on that. All of the little beams that are sticking out, I think those would look really pretty as brown to almost give this effect of a wood beam. So I ended up paying Pio an additional 8K to take every single window off, found a primer that would work on the vinyl windows, and Pio and his team spent three weeks taking every single window off of the house, and we were sleeping without the windows on. And I gotta say to you guys, make sure you do this, not during summer. I did this during the, if you remember, there was like the hottest week in Los Angeles. That was one of the weeks that we were doing the windows being taken off and painted. It was honestly just poor timing on my part, and and I had to take account that my painter's availability was only then, so I just had to go through it. I actually ended up sleeping downstairs, so when they had the windows off upstairs, we slept downstairs, which was nice because it has a different AC unit, so we were able to use like downstairs air conditioning and we slept down there for a little bit. So all in all, I paid $21,000 to have this house painted. I also want everyone to keep in mind that I live in Los Angeles, so someone that might live in Wyoming, in the mountains, may be able to find a painter that would do it far cheaper. However, I live in Los Angeles where there is high demand for painting all the time and my painter did an incredible job. I could not have asked for anything better. I don't think there's one speck of paint out of place, but I just wanted to be transparent with you guys on how much it actually did cost to paint this home because I know some people might want to be painting their house. So once they got all the windows back in, then it was really, really quick from there. I think they had the house painted in like a week, including all the balconies and all of the stucco. It came together so quick. And every time I walk out of my house or I pull up to my house, I just smile like it is the most beautiful honestly most beautiful home on the street i'm not gonna lie i love it and i feel like also some of the accent tile in the courtyard like the blue and the fountain and just some of the other details of this home are accented so much more with the white and i cannot wait to start placing furniture i've been talking so much at the beginning of this video so hopefully i didn't bore you but i just wanted to let you all know about the painting process i have been purchasing things as i've seen them kind of pop up on facebook marketplace and i've been having them delivered and just put in the courtyard so i have a bunch of stuff you guys like i have like a solid courtyard full of items i'm very excited i hope that you guys love the house color and i know a bunch of you also probably did love the blue and i love the blue as well i had it for a year it was a fun color but it really did alter the inside and it just was not i knew when i had all my plants in the courtyard it was not going to be the exact 
look I wanted and I wanted it to look beautiful and kind of my vision, so yeah. Look how cute the edge of this table is. I found two of these on Facebook. I forget how much they were. I think I got both for like 250. Oh, With like all the chairs too. Yeah, I think it's 150 for the one. And then she was like, oh, by the way, I have two. Yeah, she's like, I have two. Do you want both? And I said, yes. Oh, that's such a cute little table. Look how great the chairs are. They have these little swirls on them. the table a bit of a clean but look how perfect this table is i love the scallopy edge like the little wavy edge detail i have another one of these tables with three more of the chairs actually up on the large balcony not this one up here but on the other side of the home there's a big balcony and that's where the other set is cute this little seating area is and I love it because this actual area here first of all look how great the article sofa fits in here it couldn't fit any better it has like an inch on either side right under the breeze blocks which is so pretty and then this pottery barn chair is just kind of on the outside this is a little view from the back side look how good that looks so this is all covered by the awning, and then there's a little additional chair out here. And this plant, I don't know what we're doing with her at the moment. Um, and this pot is so cute. I got this at Olive Atelier. I've been picking up like a few pots now and then when I go, um, just to add to the courtyard, but I definitely need more. So something else I really would love your opinion on, which disregard this, it hasn't been cleaned for like a week. I really am considering painting the blue tile. Now I know that I've kept on being like, oh, it adds a nice color pop. I still want it to be a color. I just don't know if the baby blue and the royal blue really goes with, you know, all of my kind of pieces that I have. So I was considering doing a different color, maybe something from this tile here. Now I know they use this tile as kind of the inspiration for the others, but I was thinking of maybe going orange on the light blue and then keeping the royal blue so it kind of is more orange and then the baby blue is just an accent on this tile here. Even like over where Justin is, you can see it has like some stairs there. Oh, look how pretty this looks. And before anyone says anything, this tile is nowhere near original. Oh yeah, this tile's not original. It's this like, was added. Not, not old at all. Well, we also found, I literally found samples of this tile inside. I was thinking of painting, because you can definitely paint tiles like this, and I was considering painting the light blue ones, or I could even paint both. Let me know your thoughts on that and what you would do. So this right here is a little outdoor dining section. And when I found this table on Marketplace for $100, I was extremely happy because I needed a skinny table for this because as you could see, up here on the under eave is vaulted and I just so picture some form of light hanging above this and having like dinners out here would be so fun. So I found this table, it was $100 and I love it. Now I need to do a little bit of repair work. There actually was a piece of wood that broke off, but I have it. So I'm gonna reattach it, just kind of fix it up a little bit and then if you recall these ice cream chairs I found them at a thrift store in downtown I think I got all four of them for a hundred dollars and I'm either looking for two more of them or for a bench for one side so maybe like a bench on this side and then doing the three chairs on that side but I also want to hang some sort of chandelier from here and I think I want to do a chandelier that I could add taper candles to so it could be like a little taper candle mood lighting situation and I just love how I'm able to have this little dining section and this table 
table fits perfectly. It's also like a reclaimed wood. So I definitely want to seal these um, and then just kind of weather treat the wood a little bit and give it a little bit of a fix up. But I love how it fits here. And I think it's just so pretty with the chairs and the little bar, the crossbar at the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this view. I cannot believe this is the courtyard. It is looking so good. This little table. I love this detail too, kind of like, I think this might have been an old door, to be honest with you, like an old pocket door. thing for me is definitely going to be getting some plants for the pots. I do have quite a few pots, but I do want to get more for sure. I'm going to go to the flea market tomorrow and actually see if I could find some outdoor stuff because I see so much when I'm there, but I've never shopped for it because it's hard to carry that around. Normally it's pretty heavy and um, I figured when I got to the outdoor area, I would kind of start doing that and we are here. And that's what we're doing. It actually came quicker than I expected. And oh my gosh, I actually have to share with you guys the cutest addition I added last night. I thought of this and had to run downstairs and do it. Look at these lanterns that I hung off of these little hooks. These are lanterns I found at the flea market. They were non-working, so they just, it was literally the lantern, uh, $10 a piece. So picked these up and I just attached them to a chain. I was gonna use this chain in a pendant light DIY a while back and never got to it. It's a soldered chain, so it's really sturdy. And I added one on either side where we added these like kind of trellis plants, which are so pretty. And I love how this one's kind of tucked away. They don't actually work, but I'm thinking of creating some sort of bottom where I can insert like a little candle in there and just kind of have a candle glow in the lanterns if we ever have like a dinner party at night or something. But I thought that was a cute addition. So if you're ever at the flea market and come across some lanterns, consider hanging them on like a plant hook like this. It gives you the look of a hardwired pendant, but I mean, I don't need to turn it on. It's totally fine. I didn't even touch on the point of why I was sharing the pots and that was because I'm looking for plants and I would love your suggestion. If you have any idea of what kind of plants I should do if you live in California, Southern California, or you just like plants in general. I'd love some ideas because I don't really know what plants I wanna do. I really do love some of the grasses that I added, like this, for example, I think it's really pretty. When I moved in, the previous owners actually gave me the gardener's info, so I was able to keep him. He's been doing the gardening here for a while, and as you guys saw, the previous owners had a ton of plants. These chairs here are definitely not going to be staying here. I'm gonna put them on the backyard or the balcony. I'm just putting them here for now. I'm not too sure what I wanna do with this section though because the trash cans need to be accessible here. They're on the side of the house. So they get pulled out and then brought out to the front. So it's nice actually that these are lightweight because they can easily be like stacked. So that's a nice quality, but I don't know. I could do like, I don't know, more pots. I could do nothing i don't know i don't know what i can do there so story on this bust i actually had ordered these for the website they are massive as you can see they're like almost one and a half of the side tables in height they're really really tall but they're like a hollow ceramic i ordered them for the site listed them they were expensive i'm not gonna lie they were like six hundred dollars um but all of them broke in transit, which is so sad. They actually ended up selling very quick. I had only ordered six of them, and sadly, all of them broke in transit, so it's not something we're gonna sell on the site. After the first five broke, I ended up keeping the last for myself. So sometimes that just happens in shipping, you know? This just wasn't an item that shipped very well, and I thought it would just be cool to add some, like, statues in my courtyard area. So, I mean, there's so many sitting areas. These are just here temporarily. I'll probably end up leaving this somewhere in the courtyard once it's all done. The courtyard is pretty much all situated for the time being and I don't want to call this the courtyard makeover because I feel like I'm going to be doing a full courtyard makeover with maybe a couple DIY projects, maybe even altering the tile, that blue tile a little bit. I don't want to call this a courtyard makeover per se, but I am going to give you a mini tour of how it's looking so far. 
So if you were walking in, this is kind of what the view would look like, which is so insane. It looks like a little villa. So you go in like this, and then to the left is the kind of sitting, dining area. I do have a tile saw right there. Working on a project at the moment and just wanted to keep it in this covered area. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this here. I just kind of popped it there for now because I bought this chair for outdoors, but it can always go in the backyard once I start working on that. Kind of working over here. I do wanna go to the right. Here's our sitting area, and I love this section. I just love the under eave and the vault here. I think it adds so much character, and I really love how I did it all in white because it really kind of makes it fresh. And then there's an additional seat right here, and these fully swivel, which is nice. And then adding the plants on either side that were already at the house really just kind of framed this arch and gave it so much organic interest, which I love. And then we have the fountain, of course, which I do need to get cleaned. It's going to be cleaned in a couple of days. So that will be cleaned and then running again. Some huge pots over here. This is an antique Greek pot, extremely large. And I want to put a big tree in this. I could do like an olive tree. I could do any kind of tree in this. It is massive, like almost up to me, if you could see. like. It's really, really tall. So I think we can put something big in there. And I still do need some plants for some of the others. I also need to properly plant some of these. I kind of just popped them in for the time being. But then there's the front door, this little sitting area here, which is so cute. Need to clean off that table. This small sitting area. And it kind of winds back around to over here, which is looking so good. I just am so happy with how everything's turning out. And that is the miniature kind of courtyard placement mini makeover. That wraps up this video for you and I hope that you enjoyed this one. I wanted to just touch on painting the home in case some of my house started, you know, popping into DIY clips, whether I'm working outside or anything, and anyone had any questions because over on Instagram, a lot of people were asking for a full YouTube video. So I hope this answered some of the questions and gave you a little insight on painting your home. Now I'm going to the Beyonce concert tonight, which I'm very excited about. So I have to go get ready and start editing this video. So I will catch you guys in the next one. And I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye.